Hello students, how are you? I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today we are going to learn houses all around. This is fourth chapter in your textbook. And what we are going to do, we are going to discuss exercise questions from this lesson. So let us immediately start. Take the correct answer. First question, the construction of a house does not depend on Options are the land available, money available, members in the family, neighbors around the house. So on which factor construction of house does not depend on? So what is the correct answer for this? Neighbors around the house. Okay, so construction of house does not depend on the neighbors around your house. Okay, next question. Mud, bamboo and palm leaves could be used to make bungalows huts flats high rise building so for what purpose can we use mud bamboo and palm leaves can we use it to build bungalows can we use it to build huts flats or high rise buildings so what is the correct answer the correct answer is huts the use of mud bamboo and palm leaves can be done to build huts third question Cooperative housing societies help to save dash. The options are space, money, space and money, water. So, what does cooperative housing society help us to save? Well, the correct answer for this question is space and money. So, cooperative housing society help us to save space and money. Next question. Igloos are shelters made by Eskimos for? Options are temporary use. Permanent use, summer, holidays. So igloos are shelters made by Eskimos for temporary use or permanent use or is it made in summer only or is it made in holidays? What is the correct answer? The correct answer is temporary use. It is made for temporary use. Okay. Next question is true or false. Most houses in cold areas have fireplaces for warmth. And what is the correct answer? The answer is true. Okay. So most houses in cold areas have fireplaces to keep them warm. So this is true statement. Next. In places which have frequent earthquakes, houses are built of concrete, glass, iron and thatch. Is it true? No, it is not true. It is false. Why? Because if the houses are made with concrete, glass, iron and thatch, and if there is earthquake, it can cause a trouble to lives as well as to property. There will be loss of life and property and it will affect more. Okay. Next question. In big cities where there is shortage of space, people build huts. Is it right? No, it is false. Instead of that, people go for apartments. They build apartments so that lot of people can stay in one single space. Next, to avoid insect breeding, the wall of the houses must be strong and damp proof. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Fifth true or false is, a house can be made safe by fitting the doors and windows with the grills. Is it true? Well, it is true. Okay, so houses can be made safe by fitting the doors and windows with the grills is a correct statement. Now, let us see short answer questions. First question. What are the three factors that determine the type of house to be built? Well, the answer to this question is, there are three main factors which determine the type of house we build. And what are those factors? These factors are the climate of the house, the material to be used and the budget available to us. So these are those factors which determine the type of house that we build. Second question. Name any six material used for building a house. Well, we can use bricks, stones, concrete, glass, iron and thatch to build a house. Next question. Before building a house, who makes the plan of the house? So, who makes the plan of the house? Yes, architect makes a plan of the house. And how you will write this answer? Before building a house, an architect makes a plan of the house. Fourth question. Name three characteristics of a good house. So what is the answer to this question? 
Well, the answer is following are the three characteristics of a good house. First point, a house should get lot of sunlight. Second point, walls of the house must be strong, damp proof and well plastered. Third point, doors and windows must be in a direction such that fresh air and sunlight can enter every room. Okay, so these are the characteristics of a good house. Okay, next question is answer these questions. Here we have to write long answers. First question, houses in hot places need to be cool from inside. What are the special features of such houses? Well, the answer to this question is in places where climate is hot, houses are having thick walls and flat roofs. Okay, thick walls keep the inside of the house cool. Flat roofs can be used by people for sleeping outdoors. So when it is too hot inside, they can make use of flat roofs. Okay, uh, so that they can sleep outside. Okay, so I will repeat the answer. In places where climate is hot, houses should have thick walls and flat roofs. Second point, thick walls keep inside of the house cool. And flat roofs can be used by people for sleeping outdoors. Next question. What are the special features of the houses where it rains heavily? Here you will write. In places where it rains lot and the climate is hot and damp, houses are often built on stilts. These houses built a few feet above the ground on raised platforms remain safe from floods. So, to keep it safe from floods, we build them on raised platform. The sloping roofs of the houses on hills do not allow rainwater to collect and make the houses damp and cold. Okay, and that's why they have sloping roof. So that rainwater will flow away. They will not get collected over there and make houses damp and cold. Okay, so to avoid that, they build sloping roofs. Third question, how are the houses in the hills different from those in the plains? Well, here you will write, houses in hilly areas need to be built easily and quickly. Therefore, therefore, houses here are built of bamboo and wood. Whereas, in the plains, the permanent houses can be built with the building materials like bricks, concrete, glass, iron, etc. Okay, so there is a difference. When people live on hills, Okay, they try to build house with bamboo and wood with a lighter material. Whereas the people who live on the plains, they can build a permanent house made up of concrete, bricks, glass, iron, etc. Okay, well student, that was last question for the day. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You may put your queries in comment box. So thank you for attending this session. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.